Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dr. Ryan, your five minutes of fire. Today's about leaving a legacy. Today is my uh, oldest child's sixth birthday. Happy birthday, Elle. I love you so much. And uh, I, was, I was writing her card this morning, trying to not ball all over it. But, you know, I, to be honest, I never used to be a kid, kid person. <laughs> I, I was always kind of like, oh, that's great. You have kids and your kids are, I'm sure, wonderful. But, uh, you know, it's not something I want to be around very much. But, you know, when I had kids, everything shifted. You know, I think, I think God gave me two girls first just to really soften my heart. Um, because now I love kids. I mean, I'm not saying I love everybody's kids, no offense. Um, but I like, I love, you know, kids. I love, the, I love the whole spirit that kids have. And obviously, I just absolutely freaking adore my kids. Um, and I know I'm biased, but I do have the most amazing kids on the planet. But no, for real, I was, I was writing her, you know, a love letter this morning and a birthday card. And just thinking about, you know, the last six years and how amazing she you know, how she is and, and the, the strong young woman, even at six, that she's becoming. She just did her first triathlon this weekend and man, it was, it was unbelievable. It's awesome to see that. And uh, despite what you may think, I'm, I'm not the overbearing, you know, sports dad that makes his kids, you know, do everything whether they like it or not. Our kids, you know, I've just kind of gravitated towards the things that my wife and I are into and that's what today's video is about is it's about what kind of legacy are you leaving for your kids and for the world when you leave this place and the reality is that none of us are getting away with it you know that we're, we all have these uh, these facades that we either intentionally or unintentionally put up you know we want the world to see us in a certain way we want to project our, ourselves as a certain type of person even on Facebook or social media you know Usually it's everyone's highlight reel and I try to be as real as I can in these videos and with our posts so that you can see what our life actually looks like and and it's not to show off or like highlight our life but there are a lot of people that we want to stay connected with that we just don't have the time to talk to every single day or video chat with every single day or fly to to see every day. A lot of our friends don't live in our town and so you know our goal for posting stuff on social media is just really to share our real lives with the people that really care. If you don't care, turn it off. It doesn't matter. If you do care, hopefully you get an insight to what our lives are really like and who we really are. Um, but the, the reality is that when the camera shuts off, when you get off stage, when you get off of the radio, when you get off, when you get out, you know, from the spotlight, your kids see the real you. And the, the reality is that you're not getting away with it. You might be able to put, you know, put on your stage hat or your video hat or your, you know, advertising hat or whatever. But when you get home, you know, who you really are is going to show up. And the thing is, you know, on one hand, it's really, it's been amazing, you know, because to see our kids, especially Elle, because she's the oldest, she's six now, to see her gravitate towards the things that Aaron and I are really interested in, like, like eating healthy. We try to teach our kids, you know, why eating healthy is beneficial. Not just that, oh, if you eat sugar, you're going to die. And so don't be a bad kid. Don't eat sugar. It, we're not like that, you know. I mean, I'm sure that's slipped out a few times here and there. Um, but you know, it's more about empowering them and then hoping that they make the right decisions. But so our kids have gravitated towards the things that we're interested in, like exercise and fitness and competition and eating well and chiropractic and helping people and serving and that kind of thing. Um, and so to see our kids, especially L, um, you know, start to manifest some of those qualities and interests and characteristics, it's like everything that a dad could hope for. You know, that's why writing her this letter this morning, I'm just like trying to hold it all back because I'm like, man, I, to be honest, I never thought I was going to be a good dad. And I, and I probably, you know, not in a lot of scenarios, still got a lot of learning to do. Um, but I've also seen some glimmers and, uh, you know, scenarios where our kids have really started to embody all the things that I had hoped I'd be able to pass along as a dad. On the other hand, <laughs> They've also regurgitated and reflected, you know, because I don't think they come up with this stuff on their own, um, a lot of the bad stuff, you know, like I'll, I'll shoot a video all about love and grace and patience, and then 10 minutes later, I'll be screaming at my kids or, you know, pounding my fist into the pillow because I'm so frustrated or irritated or whatever the case may be. And I'm just being real. If that's not you and you're perfect 100% of the time, I'll, you know, good for you. <laughs> but for, the, for, the, for me and probably the rest of us, you know, that's just not reality. And, and the scary thing is, um, 
the, the real you comes out in these moments and then your kids end up reflecting that and you get to see through your kids who you really are and what type of legacy you're really leaving. Like when you see your kids do something nasty to another kid, you're like, man, I wonder where they got that from. Well, maybe it's time to look in the mirror. Now they may, pay, they may have picked it up from some other kid or something they saw on TV or whatever. Um, but at the end of the day, even if they didn't originally get it from you, it's still your job to you know, instill in them such a strong sense of integrity and honor and whatever that you know, hopefully the majority of the time they are doing that type of thing. But the point is, you know, when it comes to winning at life and exercising, eating well, um, you know, taking care of yourself, being a good person, working hard, you know, uh, one, of my, one of my coaches a long time ago said this and it always stuck with me that when you have kids, you lose the right to do what you want to do. You lose the right to not work out. You lose the right to eat junk food. You lose the right to keep smoking and drinking. You lose the right to sit on your butt and be lazy and not go work and not get a job. You lose the right to not be an exceptional human being because your kids are watching you and it, you're gonna ruin your kid's life by your bad decisions. And so if you're struggling with um, motivation, inspiration, consistency, discipline, it's, it's because most likely that you're making it more about you than anybody else. If you make it about your legacy and what you wanna be known for and, and this, this torch that you're building that you're gonna pass along to your kids that they're gonna continue to carry on once you're gone, uh, you know, it becomes, it becomes a lot easier. It's not easy, but it becomes easier. So that's the point today. Happy birthday, Elle. I love you so much. You're an amazing little girl. I hope you have an amazing birthday and that we make it special for you. But for the rest of you, you know, make it about your legacy, not about what you feel like doing or not doing today. And I hope that helps you go win at life.